Hi. Hi. Today we're going to be talking about the letter R. We're going to be drawing a rabbit, rabbit, rabbit a cottontail rabbit, and we're going to draw a scene with a little chicks in it as well, mm -hmm. using some shapes that we have here at home. We have we have a dice. A dice. We've got eggs, eggs. to make circles. We got a very very little Lego piece that I did not know was here. Wait, did you mean? To put this in? No. <laughs> that snuck in. <laughs> We've got tape to make circles. Wait, this could be a We've eye. got, a, we eyes got eyes a Lego little. laser with the front of a shield on it. Yeah. And what we are going to do with this is put it down on our paper and trace it and make a circle, a smaller circle. We've then got a very smaller circle. Yeah. We've got a Slytherin stamp. Yeah, a Slytherin stamp that we can that use is. to make a circle. Right? Mm -hmm. So let's get started. We're going to tilt the camera now down and you can watch our hands as we work and I'll be working um, upside down for this so that you can follow along. And the boys will not be working upside down. They'll be working right side up, right? Okay. 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 All right. There we are. Let's see if it sticks there. Perfect. Okay. You ready, Kalani? Mm -hmm. So first we're going to draw a line across our paper. Um, splitting it in quarters, the bottom quarter of the paper. And we have, we can either do it using just our eye and estimating, or you can use a ruler to draw a straight line. Um, but that's a tool that we have. That's, like where, that, that. that's where that went, Kai. <laughs> so what we're going to do is just draw, I'm going to draw a dotted line. And that kind of gives me an idea of where I want all my feet of my animals when I'm drawing. And that's also where I'm going to put some eggs and some grass. Um, and Kai, you can work on, I'm working, okay. So Kai wants to work the same way. So can you see that dotted line? I wanna make sure that we have a good angle for you. So let's bring it a little bit closer and a little bit more down. And let's shine a light more on the papers. There we go. So we have our dotted line. And next we're gonna figure out what we wanna use for circles. I'm gonna use this um, for my large bunny rabbit. I'm going to use the tape and I'm going to trace the inside of the tra tape. If you do the outside of the tape, you'll even get a larger bunny rabbit body. Sure. And then I'm going to pick some different shapes for or sizes of circles for the um, chicks. So I'm going to have the baby chick in front. It's going to be my smallest circle. And then I'm going to have a larger chick, which I found this little wheel this is a lego piece that we have and then actually i'm going to put just a, a even smaller chick right here in front let's see i'm going to use this piece it's, there we go and you so we've got you don't, you don't have to do um, just a circle check. You could, I mean, a circle um, rabbit. You could just do any kind of rabbit. That's right. You could. You could make your rabbits any way you'd like. This is how I'm going to make my rabbit, though. And I'm going to give him some, a cotton tail. And his tail is going to be over here because this is where his face is going to be. He's going to be looking towards the chicks. So I'm going to do a cotton tail. Bumpy little fuzzball of a tail. And I'm going to do, um, I'm going to give him his eye. Right there, he's gonna be looking down at the chicks, and I'm gonna give him his. Let me turn this upside down to help him better draw. And then I'm gonna give him a triangle nose. So we're gonna go down like that, kind of. And then a line down and a half of a U shape to make the mouth. He's a happy bunny. And then his feet are going to be three U's connected. One, two, three, and one, two, three. And later I'm gonna put some grass in there for him. And now his ears. I want one ear sticking up and I'm gonna do another ear that's gonna be floppy. So I'm gonna do, it's gonna be an arch and the same. And then his floppy ear is gonna go up and over 
and up and over, just like that. That's gonna be his floppy ear. So now we're gonna work on the chicks and the chicks are all looking at the rabbit. So what we're gonna do is They don't give have the... to be. They don't have to be. They don't have to look at the rabbit. So I'm gonna go ahead and put their eyeballs looking up. Right? And then their beaks are gonna be below their eyes. And those are sideways triangles. And of course, the larger chick's gonna have a larger beak. And then what I'm gonna do for theirs is I'm gonna just do some lines coming down, two of them each. They each have two legs. And then their little feet are gonna be um, three little lines coming out from the bottom of their legs. And then I'm gonna give this one a little ruffle, like a little mohawk. So I'm gonna do a zigzag line. And now we're gonna work on their wings and their tails. I'm gonna give each of them a little tail. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. It's kind of like a M and then an N next to it, right? And now their wings. So their wings are gonna come from here and do the same thing that their tail did. One, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. Now we have a little three little chicks and a bunny rabbit. And now I'm gonna add the grass and some extra, um, actually let's do the arm down here. We're gonna do a, two parallel lines and a little U shape. And that's gonna be holding his string because I'm gonna draw a kite. Kalani, yours is looking great. Kai, yours is too. So my string is gonna go up, kind of like a worm or a snake or an elongated S that continues. And then I'm gonna do my kite using a diamond shape. One side and the other, and then the same thing again. All right? And it would almost be, if I crossed it, it would be like two triangles. One triangle and the other. And now I'm gonna go straight through the middle with another line and these are the bonings that are in kites to help them stray, stay stiff so that they can catch the wind. Now I'm gonna go down here and it looks like my bunny rabbit's floating a little bit above the um, chicks, but maybe he's just on a different part of the field. They like to graze in fields. And this is just little blades of grass. And how I'm doing that is sets of three is typically an odd number when we do art, looks better. And this is kind of like um, a water fountain or water spraying up. And that's how I do my little grass marks, three little lines that kind of curve. And this helps to give my piece of art a little bit of depth. I'll put a little bit of grass up here too, a grass line for them. And then the sky, I'm gonna do some billowing clouds. What are the clouds called when they look like big cotton balls? Do we remember, boys? Um. <laughs> we'll have to look that up and put it in the comments. And then I'm gonna do a bumblebee sideways raindrop, right? And then we're gonna go ahead and do C shapes for his stripes. This part becomes a stinger over here. I'm gonna give him two shapes that are kind of like ovals. One is um, larger and the other one's smaller for the wings. And he's gonna be a very smiley butter uh, bee. So I'm gonna give him a little smile. You can easily change that into a surprise bee by making a oval shape. And then I like to trace where he's been by a dotted line. And he has been everywhere. Maybe all the way down to this flower. And then when you're ready, you can start adding whatever um, art supplies you have. So I'm gonna use watercolor. Kalani, what are you gonna use? Kalani's gonna use, he's concentrating. Kalani's gonna use crayons. I'm gonna use watercolor. And Kai, what are you gonna use? 
He's also concentrating. Watercolor. He's going to use watercolor as well. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with that. Right now, can I show you another picture? Yeah, you want to show your picture? Sure. Um, there's the rabbit, there's the Easter eggs, that's the grass. Yeah. Um, that's the, the eggs that he's putting. That's a little bird. That's, um, that's a giant, that's a giant bird. Mm-hmm. Oh, and Kalani, yeah, added the Easter eggs. We forgot those. I did. Let's do some oval shapes. And... For the Easter eggs and zigzags and dots, polka and, dots. Uh huh, and, Kalani, go ahead. And um, in the in the in the chick is do is saying, "Kamu fudge." Camu. Camouflage. It's like this. Camu fudge. <laughs> what is it like? Camouflage. Just trying to read it. All right, so let's get back to now. We're going to add color to our art. So I am going to first do the chicks, and they're going to be in this picture. They're going to be yellow with orange beaks. So first, I'm going to use the lightest color, which is yellow. I got a yellowy orange color, which might be nice. And we learned that rabbits, cottontail rabbits, are one of the most popular types of rabbits. And they live in various places, but they really like grasslands. They hide during the day. And they forage at night. And they can be domesticated, so people have them as pets sometimes. Although I think that they prefer living in nature. I'm going to go ahead now and go in with the um, orange for their for the chick beaks. And the boys had a great question. They said, "Why?" Well, Kalani did. He said, "Why are we doing chicks?" Um, just because it's kind of an Easter theme. And for those of you that don't. Um, celebrate Easter, then it could be a spring theme that we're doing, um, and that chicks are born during this time of year, and sometimes we associate Easter and springtime with chicks and rabbits and life coming, and so I thought it would be nice to do an easy shaped art tutorial. Um, done. Wait, no, almost done. Using, uh, including those characters. So that's what we did. So I'm going to just paint this cloud up here. I'm going to use another paper to see if this works well. Okay. And what I learned is that if you blot your um, art, you can soak up and make clouds look more realistic. You can also use a napkin for this. I made the snake. Okay, is there any way you could scoot your paper over just a little bit? I made a snake on mine. Wow. Oh, yep, I see that. You put a snake stamp. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with some more yellow. Since I'm doing yellow right now, I'm going to do the B. And let's see. Mom. Maybe I'm going to have this orangish yellow flower over here. Yeah, Kalani. I want to make like a Harry Potter. Um, how do you do a skeleton school? A skeleton school. Can I teach you how to do a skeleton school at the end of this video? Yeah, sure. Okay. That sounds like a cool I'm just, theme. I'm just going to... We are talking about becoming a part of the Easter egg um, virtual hunt. And we have some uh, wood that Damien, my husband, cut for us and sanded. And we were just talking yesterday about what we could decorate them as. Now I'm done. And Harry Potter came to mind and Star Wars came to mind. You're all done, Kai? Mm-hmm. Great. I'm going to go ahead. I always like to, after I've done some accent grass, I like to go back and with watercolor and kind of go over it. And these would make really cute little cards too. You could just do one single um, animal and put it on a card okay. and send it to someone you love during this time of spring and to let them know you're thinking about them, especially since 
Um, I know a lot of us could use that communication with others um, to brighten our days. I'm gonna do this kite up here, kind of a, I'm gonna add a little bit more color, but it's gonna be a red. And Kai is done, but he's being so patient. We're in tight spaces right now, so being patient is helpful. I'm gonna add a little bit of red to the mouth and R, yeah, for rabbit. <laughs> And um, my rabbit, I am going to do a little bit of a gray color. Yes. They do like to blend in with their natural yes. surroundings. He's a Slytherin rabbit. A Slytherin rabbit. Yours is, Kalani? Yeah. Oh, okay. And I'm going to leave his tail white because I like the idea of them having a little white cotton tail. Remember, you can do and follow along at home with Wait. anything you have. Okay. You do not need... Um, watercolors for this. You can do it with crayons. You can do it with markers, pastels. Like I said, anything you have at home and things that we're grateful for. I am grateful for um, to be able to use these tools that we have in order to um, and, make beautiful pieces of art. And I'm guessing you're also grateful for for not getting yelled at by by making our things very dirty. Mm -hmm. What things very dirty? Like this. Oh yeah, did our art supplies got a little dirty? But what could we do in order to fix that when uh, we're all done? Nothing. We could do nothing. Yeah, we could leave it that way, or we could. We can't wash it off. We can wipe them down. No, we can't. We could. <laughs> That's always a solution. But we won't. But we won't. Oh, we won't. Is it, is so it Sharpie permanent marker. Mm hmm So we're gonna go ahead and just say thank you for joining us. Um, and something that I'm uh Kai's grateful for. Kai, what are you grateful for? Harry Potter. Harry Potter and Kalani, what are you grateful for? Slytherin. Okay. Can we say bye to our friends at home? Bye. Bye. Oh. bye. Do you need bye. a second? Bye. Let me bye. move this back. All right. And let's include Kai. There we go. I think he wanted to show you his piece of art. Let's see. Oh, wow. Yeah. So cool. Oh, that's great. He made something extra on the side. What? What? <laughs> oh, he told you this. Huh? Yeah, it's Harry Potter's shield, all the house colors. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> Here's mine. And let's see yours, Kalani. Wait. Can I show them yours or you want to no, save it till no, later? No, no, no. All right, one more time. Bye. 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 Thanks for joining us. Bye. <laughs> oh, wait, a joke. What is the rabbit's favorite type of jams? Um, hip hop. The hip hop, that's right. All right, now it's official. See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.